Did you mislead the general? Well, this government has done more than... No, 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 Mr Cameron, could you just answer the f question, please? And sometimes it is that simple. Just answer the fucking question. Did you or did you not? Oh, you didn't have a question? I did. Oh, OK. Oh, oh, okay. I lost track. I'll let Dan. Oh, well, OK. OK, go ahead. OK. Please. So when we met, um, yes. we were um, moving from running from the school board to yes. the city council meeting, which was going to be, um, should you have been elected as you were, that left our, our school board to appoint a position. Now you're um, leaving your position as a council member midway through, which if you become our mayor, then that leaves up another position to be appointed. Um, I, I'm really for a democracy, and I do not like these appointment positions because then it does not allow us to vote for our representative. Um, knowing that you're going to run for mayor, did you consider stepping down for that from your current position so that we could then elect our public representative? And I agree with you in terms of democracy at work. Um, but where I am is all those possibilities were explored, explored uh, when I uh, heard that the uh, mayor was um, uh, retiring. Uh, part of my, my situation here is I look amongst uh, our council members and I didn't see anyone stepping up. And so for me, it's an opportunity to maintain the culture of that council, which the truth is, you know, we may uh, debate passionately in chambers, but we all get along. And I think that that's important because we're cordial towards each other and we remember that we have to be statesmen once we leave uh, the chamber. Uh, that being the case, my, my only issue here is we were to bring somebody outside um, who don't necessarily understand the culture of the, of the council, uh, I think that may be an issue, you know, and um, not knowing uh, some of the projects that we have been working on, I think that would be uh, a concern as well. That's the reason why I stepped up. I'm not leaving the council, I'm stepping up into a leadership position as the mayor. So you believe the five gentlemen are representing our, our city I believe, I believe that people are elected uh, by the people, and um, the people are the uh, folks that empower me uh, by putting me on the council. So yeah. you would not consider waiting two years to run, can you, you know, finish up your term here, and then wait two years to run for me? I think the time is now, because the opportunity presents itself. Uh, leadership has to step up when there's an opportunity. Um, I hear what you're saying, Lynn, and I understand that, but the problem here is that there's a void. Um, Personally, I would love the mayor to serve, you know, a little bit longer, and you know, I would be the strongest advocate of, this, of that. But my struggle here is that he's leaving for good reasons. He wants to spend more time with his family. I cannot fault the man for that, and I respect him for the time that he served. And now it's his time to spend with his kids. So opportunity presents itself. I truly believe that if uh, you know other council members would step up, you know, I may hesitate, but you know, none have. And so what I'm doing is stepping up. Yes, Vice Mayor Lee, so you're, you're to imply that the only qualified people that could run for mayor is a city council member, a sitting kid. No, is that your implication? That. Well, no, that's kind of your that. implication. Right. No, what I said here is I certainly want to preserve a culture on the council where everyone gets along. And so so that uh, somebody case, from outside the council wouldn't necessarily get along. You wouldn't be like when you got on there, didn't they get, try to get along with you? That's the implication is that it's you're implying that this is a club. No, I am implying that it's important for us as board members to get along with each other and debate passionately and then walk out of those chambers. And, and somebody from outside couldn't do that. And I didn't say that, Dan. Well, then, then why didn't you answer Ms. Weed's question finish, about why didn't you vacate the seat? If you can let me finish, Dan. Certainly. What I'm trying to explain here is the culture of the council is that people get along. I'm not saying that other people can't qualify and other people can't run. In fact, that's what democracy is all about. This is open, other folks can run for it, other folks are. This process of vetting the candidates is people's opportunity to see who would qualify. Personally, if you're gonna ask me if I qualify, yes, I would qualify. Because but I'll somebody be from outside, somebody that hasn't held elective office is not qualified. I'm like, be voting for myself, Dan. And of course you are. The reason why is because I have experience on school board. Mm -hmm. I have experience in uh, nonprofit boards. So I'm you're saying somebody can only go on the city council that. if they don't so. have experience. I mean, your implication is that you shouldn't be on the city council unless you have some sort of prior elected experience. That's your implication. No, that's not what I'm saying. Your interpretation is different. And this is one of those things that you and I would just agree to disagree. So.
Next question. Yes, Tom. Um, we have a, a um, luckily, we have all the races are contested. Um, we have arguably some very, very qualified um, candidates that have stepped up to run for city council. Um, are you going to be open to meeting with all of these candidates? And if by chance there is someone that you believe could bring something to the table that can make take out growth to the next level, who's very qualified, um, would you um, offer up an endorsement to that person if it's contra to somebody who's currently on the council in that seat? Sure. Keeping in mind what's best for El Grove, not this good old boys club and that you know seems to permeate from the council, my opinion, and that we need new, fresh blood that can take El Grove to the next level. Would you be open to exploring you know new possibilities? I am. Okay. You know, I, I certainly welcome that and you know we are we are in, in agreement. Um, it's always good to bring in new blood uh, to any sort of board. Uh, going, uh, embarking on any journey uh, with an open mind uh, is what I subscribe to, and I certainly would be willing and open to that. And many of the candidates who are running uh, have uh, approached me and have had a conversation with me. And this is a journey that I continue to walk on. Yes, Lynn. If, if you believe that we need new blood on our council, then how about stepping down? You know, why didn't you consider stepping down from your position so that we could have somebody run for your seat and, and have an opportunity to have some new blood? But let me respond to that. Lynn, you're assuming that I'm going to win already. You know, I mean, some of the other folks who may be more qualified, who's going to campaign a little bit more, they win. And so that, that's new blood but as well. But the, the people running against you haven't been on our council. Sure, but the moment in the event that I do, I am successful in this, it also opens up my seat. And that's an opportunity to bring people in as well. So I... Would I, you, uh, Vice Mayor Lee, would you be willing to make a commitment here tonight that if you vacate your seat upon, if you're elected mayor, that you would push for a special election rather than an appointment for the uh, the seat that you vacate upon your election. Would right, you be you willing to the election commit already, that? Dan? Because I, well, you're, you know, <laughs> I Vice haven't Mayor, won yet. <laughs> Vice Mayor Lee, you're the presumptive front runner in this. You're in the incumbent, and you, well, thank you, you, thank you're you the presumptive front runner. Yeah. So, would you be willing here and now tonight to make a commitment that you would, when you vacate that seat upon your election, that you would push for a special election to fill the seat that you will be vacating? Dan, remember, I am one vote. Yes or no? This is, but this you is can push for it. You'll be the mayor. You, you will be the mayor, and you're the leader of that council. Will you, yes or no? It's a simple question, Vice Mayor Lee. I yes or no? No, it's not, Dan. No. Did you mislead the general? Well, this government has done more than... No, 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 Mr. Cameron, could you just answer the question, please? And sometimes it is that simple. Just answer the fucking question. Did you or did you not evade tax?